Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. Who among us has not dreamed about a country house? The sun, a garden, a small garden and the sea. A sea of fresh air. Beautiful and practical. The garden and flower beds give a pathetic pleasure and the harvest from the garden feeds in winter. When the dream is fulfilled, at first we somehow do not notice that in the chosen house there is something missing. Everything seems ideal, as long as we do not have an idea to have a cup of tea or have breakfast in the bosom of nature, and to do something is comfortable and nowhere. There would be a veranda attached to the house, there would be no problems. The situation is standard and quite solvable. The main thing is to know exactly what you want and how to get it. Veranda Terrace for the ununited that the veranda that the terrace is all one. In fact, there is a difference between these buildings. Let's see what the difference is. We'll figure it out in a typical variety of extensions and also get acquainted with a modern ideas of their decor. Let's start with the veranda. The small building is more often than not a separate but still a part of the house. It is erected on the same foundation with it and is put under one roof. Usually the veranda is planned at the same time with the erection of the house. If this item was missed, then it can be attached later. Translated from the person, veranda means a gallery, which is completely justified, because the annex has a large area and is equipped with the panoramic windows from one or several sides. The insulted veranda attached to the house can perform year-round functions as a dining room and a living room or be transformed into a luxurious winter garden. The terrace is placed on a standalone raised base in the form of pillars, usually at the most elevated position adjacent to the structure. Its name in Latin means earth which also corresponds to reality. The terrace is unvariably protected by low handrails, giving it a finished look. Most of the annex is planned as an open area. Types of terraces Open, closed, universal. The first, this is purely summer buildings, of course, and they are exploited only in the warm season. They have the appearance of a limited area covered by a canopy or without it. The terrace attached to the house does not need a foundation, but the half walls must be there. For our climate, this option is not acceptable. It is much more practical to erect an extension of the second and third type on its side. It is better to put a closed terrace in the foundation and equip it with capital walls. It will be good to equip it with a ventilation and a range heating. This approach to the construction of terrace is relevant for country houses, where it is planned to spend time not only in the summer season. In a well-equipped space, you can even live. Universal terraces would have to be classified as transformers. They are assembled from removable double-glazed windows and doors. Their roof is equipped with a folding mechanism, so that turning extensions into an open space is a matter of 5 minutes. Types of verandas Open and closed We already mentioned the building invariants. They are put on a common foundation with the house, but if the veranda is completely to an already completed structure on a separately filled foundation, then it is treated as an attached one. The veranda attached to the house can have the most unusual shape. For example, it can be made in the form of a square or a rectangular with a beveled or rounded corner, or to give it the shape of an octagon, honeycomb, oval, etc. Flight of imagination cannot be limited. It is possible to curve the entire house around the perimeter with the veranda. If you plan to equip it on the second floor, it is better to stay in the form of the balcony. The veranda basically the passive room and build it at the entrance doors. Exit to the veranda from the rooms is only permissible if it is originally planned as a winter garden. Attached space should be in harmony not only with the house itself, but also with the surrounding landscape. The easiest way to solve the problem is by using 
in the construction of verandas similar to the texture of the house materials, although this is not an indispensable condition. The main thing is to observe a common stylistic decision. Unlike the terrace attached to the house, the veranda is placed on the entrance side. Its size is determined based on first, the number of free areas, second, master's wishes, third, financial opportunities. As much as the facilitated form of the veranda you would not choose, you will not be able to give up the foundation. What type? Tape or column do you choose? It is better to consult a specialist. The roof and the walls of the attached object are tightly fitted to the front wall of the house. Veranda. The room is very light, so immediately plan a lot of windows. As for the terrace, it can be seen attached to the house with any convenient side owners. The eastern location implies the possibility of hiding from the midday heat. On such a terrace, it will be pleasant to sit in the morning, dawn hours, watching the awakening of the sun. If you like to see the sunset, then equip the terrace on the west side. In the southern latitudes, the northern location of the extension is justified. The southern location is used in the middle latitudes and basically provided that a winter garden is organized on the extension area. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.